Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for December the 11th of 2020. Well, it is titled Messier craters in stereo. So what do we see here? Well, these are the two Messier crater craters on the moon. And we see those named after Charles Messier, who made a great catalog uh, several hundred years ago of mini nebulae and star clusters. In fact, objects that were fuzzy through a small telescope and might be mistaken for a comet. So these were well identified objects. Well, certainly uh, the craters on the moon would not be something that would be confused with a comet. However, they are many of the craters on the moon are named after famous scientists. And these two are named after Charles Messier, uh, the one on the left and Messier A on the right hand side. Now we notice these craters and they are visible in 3D if you have your red and green blue 3D glasses you can put on you can actually get a three dimensional image of these as were taken by Apollo 11 back in 1969. And as we look at them, we notice a couple of things. First of all, they're very elongated. And that would be because the object striking them, striking the moon that created them, would have hit at a very low angle, so a very shallow angle, almost skipping across the surface of the moon and making these two impact craters. And we can see that especially the one on the left is very elongated as most craters are not. Most craters that we look at are very circular and look very circular uh, being hit more straight on or close enough that the explosion still gives a circular crater. So here in this case, it was a lesser impact that gouged out these two very large impacts. If you look at how big they are, these are actually about between about five and seven miles in diameter. So several miles across, not just very tiny things. They are actually good size impacts. But the object that hit them must have come in at a very, very uh, shallow angle, kind of skipping across the surface of the moon. Now these occurred within the Maria and we can see the area around it is very smooth does not have a lot of large craters in it and that's because it is relatively young surface of the moon and that is the Maria which are the smooth lava flooded areas that were flooded about three to three and a half billion years ago. So while we may look at that as quite old, especially to what we're used to here on the Earth, for the moon, those are the actually the youngest areas. And in fact, the moon is essentially unchanged over the last three billion years or so. Yes, there have been a few impacts that have occurred. So there's been a few more impacts. And we will see those kind of changes. But the overall surface features, if we went back a billion or two billion years, the overall surface features of the moon would look essentially the same as they do today. And we certainly know that if we went back that same amount of time and looked at the surface of the Earth, that we would see vast differences as the continents move around and some will rise and sink below the oceans. So the constant structures would be changing here on Earth. Earth, whereas on the moon for those same that same billions of years, everything is essentially unchanged. So that was our picture of the day for December the 11th of 2020. It was titled Messier Craters in Stereo. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be wandering toward a great conjunction. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.